These are the sights and sounds of electricity gone wrong. As fascinating as they may seem, there is a big danger here. At Eau Claire Energy Cooperative, it's our mission to provide safe and reliable electricity for our members. And it's important for us to keep our employees, our members, and the public safe around electricity. Please watch as some of our experienced line workers demonstrate safety with electricity. Electricity makes our lives much more comfortable than a century ago. It extends our daylight. It charges our cell phones and electric vehicles. It lights our homes and much more. With all of these conveniences, electricity needs to be treated with respect, keeping everyone's safety in mind. Chris will show you what happens when the uh, squirrel runs across the line here and comes in contact with the power line. After that happens, the lights go out on the right hand side there. The meter quits spinning. Have you ever seen a tree branch leaning on a power line? Whatever you do, stay away and don't touch it. Watch what can happen. I'm going to show you what a little tree branch here will do. If you ever find a tree leaning up against the line or near the line, or if you're climbing a tree, don't reach out and grab onto the power line. 7,200 volts going through that little tree branch to light the light bulb over by the meter. Even leather gloves don't protect against electricity. Don't touch. Even if you have uh, leather gloves, they're not going to protect you, so don't go out and try and grab onto the down wire or the tree branch. It's not going to do any good for you. Winters in Wisconsin can produce heavy snow. In that case, more and more people may be out taking snow off the roof. It's important to look up. Where are the power lines? If anybody uh, this time of year is snowing, got the roof rake out, cleaning the roof off, or has a metal antenna or a large pipe, don't reach up, try and knock anything off the power lines or reach near them. That's 7,200 volts that's going to go from phase to neutral. The demonstrations we are doing here, do not try this at home. Chris is going to show you what happens when uh, if you throw a rope over the lines, which I said don't do this at home. You'll burn the line down or you'll harm yourself or others. Keep kites away from power lines. If you get close to a power line, let it go. It's not worth trying to save. You could be injured or even worse. I'll show you what happens if you get too close to the power line with a kite. Let go of it and do not go and chase it. Leave it alone. We'll come out and take care of it. Take it off the line for you. If you ever get a kite close to the power lines, let go of it because that's how fast it goes. It goes right down to your hand. Everyone loves outdoor fairs or carnivals. Balloons are popular with children, but it's important to keep them away from power lines. Here's what could happen. If you ever got a balloon on a string, don't go by the power lines. I'll show you what happens here if you get a balloon close to the line. They go up quick. Don't do this at home. You could harm yourself or others. We don't want anyone to get hurt. A lot of the wire we have out there is copper weld made up of three strands. Lightning storm or a tree falling on a line or if it gets really cold out, it sometimes breaks the strands off. The strand will unwind itself and slap the neutral and this is what you'll see. What if you hit a guy wire near a power pole? It could bounce up 
hit one of the lines and energize it. What should you do? Stay in your car. Contact us and we will come and de-energize the lines. Then you can get out safely. You simply cannot take a chance. Guy wires hold the poles up on the ends to keep them from tipping over. If you drive through a guy wire or hit it, a lot of times that wire will bounce up there and hit the phase and energize it. Along with that, we got a piece of wire laying on the ground, which I said it was copper welded earlier. Green, it's hard to see. If you ever see it laying along the road or in the trees, don't pick it up. You never know if it's energized or not. Chris is going to show you if it's energized or not. If it's energized, that's what's going to happen. So stay away from it, don't touch it, call us, and we'll come out and take care of it. Our line workers are here to provide safe and reliable electricity. The clothing our line workers wear are fire resistant and arc rated. They protect them from arc flashes. We are all here to keep our co-op members, employees, and the public safe. Please heed these safety tips and keep your family safe near electricity. If your community group or school class wants to see our live safety demonstration, please contact Eau Claire Energy Cooperative. Our goal is to keep everyone safe around electricity. Stay safe out there.